what is going on YouTube so I'm coming back today with a pretty like I guess unique video idea I kind of got the inspiration off a of Bleacher Report article um, that's was just like NBA players who should be pissed at their front offices and I wanted to kind of take it a little, like a step further and say I came up with a list of five players debatably stars a list of stars and superstars in this league that have been just kind of I wouldn't say mistreated maybe to some degree but have just their, their talents just kind of been wasted wherever they are uh, largely because of their front office and uh, players I think should go to other teams just to be able to be successful somewhere else so like I said I got a list of five so let's start with the first one and the most obvious one you can make a list of five just with this guy's name alone and that's DeMarcus Cousins so DeMarcus Cousins man the Kings front office has been a mess like I love DeMarcus Cousins. I think he's one of the most talented players in the NBA. I mentioned this multiple times. If I could take one player, uh, if I could take one player as an entire starting lineup, just like clone five players, maybe outside of LeBron, I would probably take DeMarcus Cousins. He's just got three-point range facilitating ability, and obviously he's just unstoppable around the rim. But again, he's with the Kings right now, maybe one of the worst starting fives in basketball, and they just can't seem to put together like a quality off season to lead into a quality season and just actually do anything that makes sense. It's just kind of sad to see a player so good, just kind of wasted. Hopefully in my mind, he gets traded next one. I don't know if he should get trade. Like this guy isn't the most, like I'd say mistreated player, most wasted talent, but John wall, you know, this hasn't been so much the wizards front or the wizards front office is just the players around John wall. I, do think he's a clearly a top five point guard in this in this league and you know what Bradley Beal next to him hasn't been able to stay healthy they haven't been able to find a consistent player at the three at all and the front court's been gritty but it hasn't been extremely talented since he's been there um you know I, I really it was really intriguing to me to hear a trade idea of Russ for John Wall uh see if Maybe Russ could ignite something in Washington and John Wall gets a fresh start with maybe a little bit more talented team and a better front office in OKC. So next one, Jimmy Butler. This one's an interesting one because Jimmy Butler said he wanted to be with the Bulls this year. But also, they've kept him in the dark. They've shopped him. Um, you know, they've changed this team around completely. They traded or they acquired two players that are kind of clashing with his play style. Uh, you know, the Bulls haven't really competed at a high level, like as at as high a level as, the, as they've been expected to year in and year out, really since Jimmy Butler came into the league. So, you know, I, I could understand where that struggle would be coming from for him. Next one, and this is a big one, Nerlens Noel, and to some degree, Julio Okafor also. I'm not going to cover this too much because I already did an entire video about uh, the trade rumors for Nerlens and Jaleel. But Nerlens, since he came into the league, I would believe it was back in 2013, uh, he has been a pretty underrated player, in my opinion. I think he's been one of the better. I think he's one of been been one of the better low key stars in this league. And obviously, there's no place that you can go for your talent to be more wasted if you're looking to win a championship than Philadelphia. No offense, Sixers fans, but you guys know how you guys tank now. So, last but not least, and this is kind of an interesting one, but I'm going to say Chris Paul. Chris Paul has, while he makes it while the Clippers have been extremely competitive they just choke every year in the playoffs again another team that hasn't been able to find a consistent player at the three really since I think Chris Paul came to LA <coughs> he was given a very good supporting cast there's no doubt about that between DeAndre Jordan Blake Griffin and Chris Paul they have formed one of the better big threes in the league and to some degree a lot of what's happened is kind of Chris Paul's fault you know he he just wasn't as clutch as you would have hoped for him to be in the times that you needed him. But either way, I don't think the Clippers have been able to put a consistent, steady team around him as much as you would like to see. And it'll be really interesting and probably just even nice to see him play in a different location uh, when it comes to free agency this coming season. So like I said, wanted to make a little bit of an interesting video today. <laughs> Um, not that much going on in the NBA right now concerning news. I will be, I, I actually will be, uh, this is the first time I talked about this, moving into my NBA team free, or team preview soon enough. Uh, probably mid-August will be when I start them, uh, just because that'll be, what, about a month, month and a half out from the season, a little bit closer to the preseason. So that'll pretty much do it. 
like I said, interesting video. Uh, I'll put the list of everything in the description below. And then also go check out my website. Link to that will be in the description below. All my NFL previews, a few other blog posts, all my social media, all that's on there. Uh, go give me a follow on Twitter. I will follow you back. I tweet sports or sports fire every single day. So go shoot over there. Give me a follow. Link to that will be in the description below. Same thing with my Instagram. So that's pretty much it. See ya.